So now let's proceed with margin of safety. Margin of safety measures the potential effect of risk that sales will fall short of planned levels. Actually, margin of safety is a test of risk. So the higher your margin of safety, the better you are. Because this is how far you are from break-even sales as, as, it, as, it, as it shows in your, uh, in your formula, which is margin of safety is equal to budgeted sales minus break-even sales. So if you want to get the ratio, we get the margin of safety in pesos divided by the budgeted sales. That is how far you are from break-even. So the farther you are from break-even, the better. So now let's answer this problem. The margin of safety in the Flaherty company is 24,000. If the company sales are 120 and its variable expense are 80,000, its fixed expenses must be. So to compute for that, we have currently the company has uh, the company has sales of uh, the company has sales of 120,000 so let's write that down on the budgeted and the break even so for sales we have 120,000 so your break even sales must have been must be 120,000 minus 24,000 that is 96,000. Now the variable expense would be 80,000. So your contribution margin is at 120 minus 80,000 that is 40,000. So in ratio, your contribution margin ratio would be 40,000 divided by 120,000. That is one third. We have learned uh, earlier that contribution margin ratio is constant within the relevant range. We have, I believe, we have uh, we have discussed this in variable costing. So this one third is also applicable for the break-even sales. So we multiply this one third with ninety six thousand. We will get we will get a contribution margin of thirty two thousand. So your variable cost would be ninety six minus thirty two thousand. That is sixty four thousand. Now, at at our break even sales, how much? would be the how much would be the profit that is zero so therefore your fixed cost should be to get a fixed to get a profit of zero if you have a contribution margin of 32,000 your fixed cost is 32,000 so that is our answer for this problem so now we move with operating leverage. So this is the, the ratio of contribution margin to profit. So therefore, this is profit over CM. So operating uh, rather CM over profit. The higher the operating leverage, the higher the risk. That means the more sensitive you are to changes in sales quantity. Your income, your net income rather, would be more sensitive to changes in uh, sales volume or sales quantity. Why is that so? And when does this happen? Actually, the closer you are to break-even point, the higher your op operating leverage should be. Or a company that has, uh, that, that has more variable uh, variable costs then uh, then fixed costs would not be uh, would not be much affected by uh, by change in sales so let's 
see our problem here. So for operating leverage, Osler Company's net operating income last year was 10,000 and its contribution margin was 50,000. Using the operating leverage concept, if the company's sales increase next year by 8%, Operating income can be expected to increase by what is the operating leverage of this of this company? We have to compute for the leverage. We have CM over profit. Therefore, fifty thousand divided by ten thousand. We have a leverage of five. It means if a contribution margin increases by a certain amount the increase in uh, increase in net income or profit would be would be the this much so for example if in here it increases by 8% the the income would increase 5 times given an operating leverage of 5 is having a high operating leverage good Actually, that depends. If your company has increasing sales, then it is good to have high operating leverage because the higher operating leverage, the higher the impact of change in sales would be on your net income. But if you have a if you have a system of decreasing sales that is coming, then having a high operating leverage would be bad for you because in here, for example. Uh, if there is a certain increase in your sales, uh, the decrease in sales would be five times as much. The, rather, the increase in, decrease in net income would be five times as much as the decrease in sales quantity. So, to compute with the percentage increase in uh, in this in this problem, we simply multiply that eight percent with that is 8% multiplied by the de degree of operating leverage. So that is 0 0.08 times 5. We have 40%. So it means that the that the company's uh, company's income would increase increase by 40%. We we might want to try that. Uh, try try to prove that computation. So we have a CM of 50,000. So that is current. Then we have your fixed costs. Then net income would be 10,000. So definitely our fixed cost is 40,000. Now, any change in sales would equate to a same change in the contribution margin. Say there is a 10% change in sales, that would equate to a 10% change in contribution margin. So in here, the 50,000 contribution margin has an 8% increase. So times 0 0.08, that is 4,000. So your increased contribution margin would be 54,000. And your fixed cost is still at 40,000. So your net income would be 14,000. So if you would note the net income indeed increased by 40% because 14,000 minus 10,000 divided by 10,000 is 40%. So that is our answer. So let's answer this problem. Hopi Corporation expects the following operating results for next year. So we have sales of 400,000, margin of safety of 100,000, Contribution margin ratio of 75% and degree of operating leverage of 4%. So what is the total fixed expense for the next year? So how do we compute for that? We have the budgeted sales, then our break-even sales. So for sales, we have our budget of 400,000. Now, if margin of safety is 100,000, how much would be the break-even sales? 
that is 400 minus 100, that is 300,000. Now, for your variable cost and then contribution margin, your contribution margin ratio is 75%. So, that is 400,000, no, rather 300,000 times 0 0.75, we get 225,000. So, actually, just to put it there, our variable cost would be 75,000. Actually, that is already your fixed cost, the 225,000. Because the profit here is zero. So, actually, to get it using the degree of operating leverage, we have our contribution margin would now be for budgeted sales, we have 400,000 multiplied by 0 0.75, that is 300,000. We divide that by 4 to get the income, that is 75,000. Then to get the fixed cost there, we just uh, deduct 75,000 with 300,000, we have 225. So in here, 4 is equal to 300,000 divi divided by net income. Then we will transfer that. So net income is 300,000, rather 400,000 divided by, no, that's right, 300,000 divided by 4 to get 75,000. So either way, if we will use degree of operating leverage or margin of safety, we can get the same answer of 225,000.